segment of the BTS vlog and we've missed two days of vlogging so let me get to give you the time and date stamp it is eight hours and 18 minutes into the day of Monday October 22nd 2014 yay for that uh, uh, although I don't know why it's yay for that but it's uh, <laughs> that's what it is uh, missed two days of vlogging, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and that's because my, I went into a low, and we just sort of knocked out uh, Saturday and Sunday, didn't do much of anything except for sleeping. Uh, I couldn't figure initially why I was tired, and then uh, I'm still in that uh, uh, funk for today. Uh, but I ended up going to a wedding last night, and even this, this morning, though, it was, uh, it, it was weird. My body felt a little weird. So I checked things over, and, you know, well, I've got my MD, I'm the doctor, so if I feel something's a little off or a little different, uh, I go check it out. And uh, what's happening is that my body is growing. It's repairing itself. And that happens uh, when you do uh, heavy exercise or uh, you damage part of your body. And if you have enough nutrients within the body, in other words, if you're eating properly, the body will go into a state of repair. And this includes even if you, if you, if you work yourself till your body is fatigued, you know, you, you, you know, like I do, you enter into uh, sleep deprivation uh, significant, uh, often enough. It does cause damage to the body. It does affect you physically. At some point in time, the body... Uh, sorry. At some point in time, the body says, uh, 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 time for repair, and it knocks you out. And I think I ran into a... Um, sort of a compound effect yesterday. It's... Uh, uh, fatigue from uh, the body repairing itself and uh, a little bit of sleep deprivation. Uh, a lot of times if I, if I work straight and do a lot of studying without taking breaks on the weekends to go someplace or just sort of, you know, uh, get myself away from my research desk, uh, th that produces a, a bit of fatigue. Uh, anyone who studied long enough uh, knows this. I mean, a lot of people will be knocked out after two hours of studying. Uh, my typical day is 12 hours. And if I'm doing it typically seven days a week, then at some point in time, there's going to be a point where, well, you know, your engine, your, your mind, uh, the engine of your mind starts to sputter. And it will shut down for a bit until uh, it, it uh, can sort of regenerate itself, if you will. You know, it, it can catch up with everything it needs to catch up on. But I also noticed that this is, my body is feels like it's growing. It feels like uh, uh, like uh, when I used to weightlift. Uh, I still do weightlift a little bit, but not as much uh, because the food shopping is weightlifting basically. Uh, my muscles. I'd wake up the next day after feeling sore for one day. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I wake up one, the next day feeling a bit sore, but the muscles would be very tight. And that's sort of the way I'm feeling right now. My muscles are very tight. I feel, and I've measured, and they have grown. So I know that my body is in a repair state. 
and I knew this last night when I went out to a uh, Greek wedding. Uh, I'll have to say, Khorni uh, Palad, uh, many years uh, to uh, Vicky Baboulis and her new husband, uh, Kiriaku. Uh, I was at the wedding last night, so. <laughs> It was a very good time. Greek weddings are usually pretty good. Uh, they can be loud and noisy, but at the same time, they're um, a delight to have. And I think, you know, in many cases, yeah, it was a little cool out yesterday, but it's, it, it's, it's better to be cool than it is to be hot, because a lot of times when you have a summer wedding, uh, and you go dressed up or you have something on uh, uh, is the right it can be uh, it can be a, a, a not a it, it, it can be hot and you end up sweating and you end up sweating a lot and <laughs> you spend most of your time, you know, freaking out about how hot you are, that you're, that you're overheating. So I'd rather be cooler than hot. So, uh, yesterday was rather, you know, cool for, you know, uh, for Canadian standards, it's all, it was standard. And, um, it, it was it was a nice night, but I, I, I was I, I started feeling it yesterday. I, I I had slept a lot yesterday, but I really was feeling the fatigue. I had a hard time keeping my focus. Uh, it was nice being out away from the research desk. Uh, I don't get out that often like that, but uh, it was nice. It was sort of relaxing. I had to sort of sit in the uh, if you will the relaxation zone. Because my body had already decided that, you know, enough was enough and, uh, you know, we're going to get some extra sleep. And so I just have a delivery this morning to, to deal with. And then uh, after the delivery comes around 11, you know, around 11, 30, 12, I'm going back to bed again. So <laughs> that's actually why I'm up is because of delivery. So I thought, hey, you know, let's vlog now. Do the del get, get, wait for the delivery because I have more equipment coming in. As I said before, I had a problem. I realized that the music studio needs uh, a new computer to handle the, the music and the different parts of the recording, and so that's what's happening coming in today as a new computer. I'm also waiting for parts for the uh, uh, one of the video studios to come in so that we can finish up finish up the studio and get some filming done. Anyways, that's it for now. I will uh, talk to you later. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, have a good one. If I don't come back, see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. Well, we are starting the week off on Tuesday. <laughs> I think that yeah, today is Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're starting the week off on not, not such a good foot. Uh, but anyways, uh, I will explain what's going on. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp because this is important. It's 11 hours and 21 minutes into the day of Tuesday, October 29th, 2014. Well, not 29th, it's Tuesday, October 28th, 2014. So, <laughs> um, yeah, these mistakes are going to happen. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when I get that heavily sleep deprived, and I think a lot of what was going on was sleep deprivation. Uh, I was in the altered states again, the altered state again uh, over the weekend, and of course uh, that means we there's a lot of sort of uh, physical correction to take to do to deal with, and physical correction when the body heals itself uh, requires extra sleep, extra food. Uh, and make sure your food is uh, you know has the proper nutrients in it, and you go from there on out. Uh, uh, but I've done the my and as I said before to deal with these different fatigue issues, uh, I've developed an efficiency mo uh, model or efficiency mode that allows me to operate uh, in, in that allows me to operate better. Uh, 
when I'm sick than it would if I didn't have it. So let's say the last few days I was out, I had to uh, sort of peel back the amount of work that do to the, ba to, to the very basic. And the question is, on a week-to-week -week basis, when you're having these problems, do you end up the week ahead or do you end up the week behind? And so far, I've ended up with the week ahead. Even though I was going through the crash, the efficiency, the efficiency model that I've been working on does seem to be working. I do seem to be getting work done. Uh, behind me, uh, we didn't, do, didn't wait to do an unboxing, but I did get uh, some new equipment in for another series of upgrade. Uh, this is the new computer for the music studio. This is when they come here in the music studio. Uh, I also got uh, a power supply for the Nikon camera for the uh, uh, for the uh, InstaVlog video studio. Uh, so that's now complete. Uh, I have to do uh, some final script work uh, today for the uh, uh, upcoming IMO vlog. Was the IMO when that's that done? I should do it sometime today. It should actually film today, and I'll also be working on uh, finishing up the script, the show script for uh, Ubuntu Beast, Ubuntu Beast, Ubuntu Beast Unis et al. Uh, that show will also have uh, a, a script. All the shows have scripts for, but uh, I'll be finishing it that that this week, and hopefully today or tomorrow. And uh, that should be going up as well. I'm also on the outside, the outside edge of things. I want to finish up the editing work that I was doing on uh, Beauty and the Geek. Get that. It, 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 it's episode 19. It's the, it's the 19th week of 2014. That's still stuck in the editing bay. And I want to get it done and out of the editing bay and start working on Beauty and the Geek, working on that show. And, uh, you know making sure that it produces properly so uh, <laughs> uh, these are sort of the things I have on schedule for the week uh, I'm also I've also brought back in um, to a certain degree uh, YouTube stroll uh, I, I, it's, it's difficult for me to, to particularly name people in the vlogs in terms of writing up in the description but if you listen because I do I do uh, go on the YouTube stroll as I, and that's going to be part of my vlog. It's going to be part of the things I talk about. And so uh, you can listen in the BTS vlogs for your name. Uh, I will try to give you a notice that it's where when it's going to be in. I do have a um, uh, a bit of a calendar here. I can write down on the calendar uh, when I talked about somebody or when I didn't talk about some somebody. And I can keep that in my notes. And this will go out... Uh, 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 in the description that I talked about so and so and I can also send it out as an email and say hey you know I talked about you in my video I talked about your channel uh, you know if you want to come take a look at it and so I've done that I've brought back the YouTube stroll back in again but not in the way I did before where it was sort of an isolated thing it's now part of the BTS vlog it's part of the overall uh, half hour show and uh, I think we'll go go with it from there uh, <laughs> And of course, because uh, I am uh, getting ready for uh, uh, the, the new piano to come in, the new equipment, music equipment to come in uh, for the music studio, because they've got the computer here now, the new computers come in, that means we'll be doing another series of upgrades on the music studio. So, uh, look forward to that. Uh, we're also working on the on uh, Toys DIY. That show will be worked on this week as well. So, uh, But again, these are things on the outside of things. We'll see what we can get done, what we can't get done. Um... Uh, and sort of take our cues from that. Uh, today is going to be, again, a little bit of a slow day. We'll see what I can get done uh, by tonight. And I'll let you know tomorrow uh, of the schedule what was done, what wasn't done. And, you know, <laughs> we'll, try, we'll try to see if uh, this week we can get another, we can improve or make progress again this week. You know, have more progress. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to have some breakfast, and it's time to get the day started. All right, take it easy. I'll see you the next time I vlog. All right, next segment. <laughs> well, it is now or never. <laughs> well, for today, anyways, in terms of vlogging. It is 16 hours and 16 minutes into the day of 
Wednesday, October 29th, 2014. Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday today, so... Um... What do I say? Uh, I went into a more significant crash than I expected. I ended up not getting the flu in terms of a head cold, but in terms of the muscle soreness and fever, that's what I've had. And so, since yesterday, I've basically in bed. I've been up uh, just for up every every four hours, just for about like a half hour, forty five minutes. So. Uh, uh, that's the kind of situation that's going on right now. Uh, the thing is, is that the bizarre thing is I'm, I'm wondering, uh, and the sort of nervousness as this is going along. I had stated this before that when the body is repairing itself, if there's sufficient amount of nutrients, the body will stay tired and want to sleep more uh, until it's finished what it wants to do. In other words, the body is in control of how it repairs and how long it takes to repair and the fatigue will be an indication of your body needs to be repaired and that means you need extra sleep and and of course because this is sort of the condition of body repair uh, when you're sleep deprived this causes a bit of a problem because you know you're not getting the sleep that you need so what's happening now is I am down for a long period of time uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I will come back tomorrow and let you know uh, where I am on this. Uh, but right now, everything's on hold. And I'm basically getting up to eat and have some good drink. Drink, because hydration is important. And same, same, and so, same thing with uh, uh, keeping your body fueled. Uh, and most of my snacks now and my drinks and everything, they're all high... They all, they all have a high degree of nutrients in it. They're very, you know, healthy for you. Uh, well, <laughs> I want to rephrase that, but not right now because it's going to get too common. Uh, healthy for you does not necessarily mean, is not a generalized thing. Uh, the body needs certain materials to rebuild itself. If the materials aren't there, the rebuilding doesn't occur. It's that simple. Uh, give an example, there are nutrients, there are chemicals, organic chemicals in food that help with macular eye degeneration. There's uh, chemicals that help with neural function. Uh, and if these nutrients, these chem organic chemicals, aren't in your food in a sufficient amount, uh, then uh, the body doesn't do the repair. But if they are in a sufficient amount, and this is where it causes some of the problem because before they are in a su sufficient amount, there is, does seem to be, from what I've been observing, a relationship to the lipid in terms of the fat you have and your body's ability to repair. The body always gains weight prior to repair. Now, this is not talking about gaining weight in, 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 in a sense of obesity. This is talking about uh, gaining a moderate amount of weight weight, and it's not actually getting weight, it's about lipid fat content. And so I think that we're going to have to go next in uh, understanding uh, organic chemistry within, within the body, is I'm going to have to look at uh, lipid interactions within the body and see how that kind of, how nutrients are sort of transported around uh, within the lipid system. So... And so, you know, lipid is your lipids are your fats. This is where your fat. This this is one of the terms for your, for your fat. So, it is part of the organic chemistry. That's part of uh, biochemistry. And <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go back to bed. My body's starting to get sore again. The muscles are starting to ache. And uh, yeah. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, take it easy. Uh, well, it's time for another uh, segment of the BTS vlog, and the back again. <laughs> uh, let's start right away with the uh, time and date stamp. It is three hours and thirty-one minutes into the day of Tuesday, September thirtieth, two thousand fourteen. Uh, I'm back on the late nights again. Uh, the, the, um, 
not that they really ever ended, but uh, I don't know. My sleep schedule doesn't seem to really work out too much to be able to get to bed at any, at any half decent time. So it's usually that I'm watching the sun come up. And it does cause a bit of a problem when you're, when you're trying to have, well, not really have, if you have people to go out and meet, like, you, like your parents go for dinner with your parents, or uh, go see your brother, or see your nieces, or whatever, or go see people in general. Uh, if you're up at night and, and sleeping during the day, that makes things kind of difficult, because you have to sort of, uh, even when you're sleeping during the day, let's say you have to go meet someone around 6 o'clock in the evening. You're still sleeping at that time, in many cases, but you still have to get yourself up. You have to go out and uh, meet whoever you're going to meet. And it doesn't always... It, and if you already have problems sleeping anyways, you don't sleep straight through anyways, that adds to the fatigue issues. So that's what I'm still working on here. I'm still working on these fatigue issues. I do have someone coming over tomorrow to pick up some equipment. I said, but that's why I make uh, make some extra funds to sort of pay the bills, as I do IT and consulting work. Some of the day someone dropped off some piece uh, a couple bits of equi of equipment, and um, I basically had to do a systems debug on it. So uh, that's you know, systems debug is kind of uh, the what I do to sort of uh, this is the IT work. It's actually called system debug, where people bring the stuff to you that's not necessarily working properly. They want it working better. You sit down, you look at it, you do an analysis, you ask them what they want, then you go or try, go through and try to sort of figure out where the particular problems are and make recommendations for the future. So, uh, and if you can, fix it up. If you can't, say, you tell the customer, well, this can't be fixed up. This is what you have to do in the future to in order to have a, an improved situation. In other words, uh, for an example, one of the things he dropped off was uh, he dropped off a uh, IPTV box. He went and decided he wanted to do IPTV. He wanted to cut the cable, the way I've cut the cable. And he got a box that somebody recommended. Uh, the problem with the box is, is that the service he's using that, that the person recommends, while it does bring in some of, the, some of the content he wants, it's only doing it at 720p. It's not doing full HD, even though he has a full HD TV system. Well, the problem is you can't do anything about it because this is the way the box was designed. Uh, it, it, he doesn't have a full HD, necessarily a full HD box. And the player that he's using doesn't configure for anything higher than 720p. So, uh, yeah, he gets the content, but doesn't get it at the full 1080p. He doesn't get full what? HD content. He gets the step down. But then this is what happens with Rod if you're with Rogers uh, and you get the Rogers box. And you look at what they give you in terms of the Rogers box. You're not getting full 1080p. You're only getting 10, uh, 1080i. You're getting the step down from 10. There's i and then there's p. P is the top level. I interlaces the, is is a level down. Is a lower level below. So uh, it's 7 720i, 720p, right? 720i is your entry level HD. Your next step up is 720p. 1080i is the fourth level, and the top level, full HD, is 1080p. That's that's your top level for, for, for what we're talking about currently. And where this guy is at, he's at 720p. Rogers is at seven is at uh, 1080i. So what happens is that people want, who want a full HD experience uh, really have to sort of uh, you know look around and uh, ask questions as well. Well, how do I get my full HD experience? And, Unfortunately, there aren't any really simple answers, depending, particularly if you're outside the United States. Uh, the U.S. has some good options, but uh, again, they're expensive. A lot of people, have to, you have to pay top dollar for them, and they may not be within everybody's budget range. So, uh, And that's why where people come, people like myself come in is that someone comes in who doesn't necessarily have the money to pay for the full thing and wants a more enhanced package. I sit down and figure out how to get the package that the guy wants for the uh, least amount of money. And so the guy's coming in tomorrow. I don't know exactly what time, but sometime during the day, so I'm not going to be sleeping much tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, not only tomorrow, but later on in the day. I'm not going to be sleeping that much. And that's, that's what sort of causes a large chunk of the problem. And I also have a package that's going to... I'm expecting a package again uh, to complete the upgrades for the year. 
uh, sometime near the end of the week. So uh, sleep is going to be uh, a very a minimum. It's not going to be a lot. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> but the thing is, is that I got my IPT working properly again. Uh, my uh, uh, the debug is working again. The editing best desks are working properly. So um, it looks like by the end of the week we will be into the new upgrades. So, yeah, uh, you'll be seeing this probably by Monday. But the first uh, instances of the new setup of the new 1080p setup with the new camera and everything like that uh, that will be on Friday, I think. That's what I'm aiming for. That's where I think I hope. I think I'm uploading every other day right now. And if we keep that pace, uh, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Monday, we should be at the full 1080p uh, uh, shot and uploaded. You know, in terms of shot, edited, rendered, and then uploaded at 1080p. So we'll be there, and you'll be seeing it. So you'll be seeing the new camera. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, that's about it for, it for now. I will talk to you in a little while. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll do some music. Uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to go from now. Right now, I'm just going to relax and watch some IPTV. Uh, have a little, something to drink, something to eat, you know, a little bit of a snack, and then go from there. All right, take it easy. Well, I'm still pretty much knocked out. And I said I'd vlog uh, while I was in this uh, uh, sleep deprived state. Well, I'll get to a point where uh, I'm feeling better and then I can vlog. You know, this camera has a hard time focusing on things. I was told about this, uh, and that's why I ended up, I've gone from uh, Canon and Sony to Nikon now. I've gone back to Nikon for my, for my uh, new cameras. So it looks like at some point in time this Sony camera is going to get replaced because the Nikon is better than the Sony. Yeah. So, um, uh, where, 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 was, where was I talking about? Yeah. Where was I? Yeah. Uh, I'm still in the sleep deprived state. I'm only up for about three hours at a time now. This is the maximum. Sort of time frame that I'm I, that I'm up at. Uh, earlier today, I was only up for an hour. That and then after the hour, that'd be too tired. Uh, later on today, around uh, seven o'clock, I was able to be up and out. So I went to my parents' house for dinner. Uh, it was two and a half hours. So, and I'm, I'm approaching that three-hour mark now. Which is, which, you know, which is pretty good. Uh, one of the things that, you, that, that I'm doing and then I have, that I'm sort of taking care of this is that when, when you're in these type of states and you're sleeping long hours and your body needs to repair itself, you need to maintain your fluids. You need to maintain, you know, uh, uh, the amount of fluid your, your body's t uh, taking in. Because your body does put out when it's sick a lot of fluids. So... Uh... That's about it for now. There's not really much to say because uh, all I've been doing all day is uh, uh, either sleeping or watching some. Uh, I'm watching Clintus right now. I'm finishing uh, getting caught up on the Clintus TV. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, let me write this down where I remember it. I've got now a thing here because I am going to be doing. Not, wait, we don't really shout us, but talk about more or less. Uh. uh and well, I'm at that. Let me at this. Let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 30th, 2014. So now we've got a time and date stamp in there. And for this time and date stamp, we're going to, I'm going to say, talked about Clintus TV. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good show. I, I I like it. I, you know, I've gotten rid of my uh, I've gotten rid of my my cable TV. And I like the family channel shows and stuff like that. Like, uh, I also like, you know, like Zoe 101. I like all these sort of family type shows. I don't want really a person into what's called quote unquote adult material. So, uh, I was able to find a lot of good shows on YouTube. Uh, Britelli is one of them, uh, Clintus TV is another. 
Uh, there's Mommy and Gracie. There's Kitty's Mama. So, uh, there's enough, there, there's enough actually to, to watch, to see. Uh, out on YouTube that uh, I don't miss cable anymore. Matter of fact, I've gone back to watching some of the shows because my parents have cable. And it's a very, it's a very expensive package. You know, in order to get your, your half decent channels, you, you're, pay, you're paying a lot of money for it. Uh, the thing is, you're not getting anything more than what I could find here on uh, on IPTV for free. So, that being said, you know I'm happy with what I got. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna do. I have one more Clintus uh, TV to watch. I have one more uh, episode to watch. So I haven't I haven't been around for a couple of days because I've been just sleeping. So uh, we'll do that now and. Uh, We'll come back tomorrow and let you know how things are going because things are starting to get a lot better. A large chunk of the issues are starting to disappear. My body temperature is starting to come back to normal again. So, <laughs> uh, not bad. Not bad. So, anyways, that's it for uh, today. I will see you, and actually for this segment of the BTS vlog, I will see you uh, tomorrow. All right, take it easy and goodbye. Democratic Earth. Earth.